Hello everyone, welcome back to Military Plus. The AC-130J is a fifth-generation gunship that will replace the fleet of aging AC-130U-W gunships. AC-130 gunships have a long combat history dating back to Vietnam, where they destroyed over 10,000 trucks and were credited with numerous life-saving close air support missions. Over the past four decades, AC-130S have continuously deployed to hotspots around the world to support special operations and conventional forces. Additionally, the AC-130J is modified with the Precision Strike Package, which includes a mission management console, robust communications suite, two electro-optical-slash-infrared sensors, advanced fire control equipment, precision guided munitions delivery capability, as well as trainable 30mm and 105mm weapons. The mission management system fuses sensor, communication, environment, order of battle and threat information into a common operating picture. The Lockheed AC-130 gunship is a heavily armed, long-endurance, ground-attack variant of the C-130 Hercules transport, fixed-wing aircraft. It carries a wide array of ground-attack weapons that are integrated with sophisticated sensors, navigation, and fire control systems. The AC-130 has an unpressurized cabin, with the weaponry mounted to fire from the port side of the fuselage. During an attack, the gunship performs a pylon turn, flying in a large circle around the target, therefore being able to fire at it for far longer than in a conventional strafing attack. The AC-130H Spectre was armed with two 20mm M61 Vulcan cannons, one L60 Bofors 40mm cannon, an M137 105mm cannon and M37 recoil mechanism from the M102 howitzer. After 1994, the 20mm cannons were removed. The upgraded AC-130U Spooky has a single 25mm GAU-12 equalizer cannon in place of the Spectre's two 20mm cannons, an improved fire control system, and increased ammunition capacity. For the past 50 years, AC-130 gunships have provided close air support to special operations forces. Despite constant upgrades to their weaponry, sensor packages, and countermeasures, the aircraft are not expected to be survivable in future non-permissive environments due to their high signatures and low air speeds. Military analysts, such as the Center for Strategic and Budgetary Assessments, have recommended that AFSOC invest in more advanced technologies to fill the role in future contested combat zones, such as a mix of low-cost disposable unmanned and stealthy strike aircraft. Thanks for watching and see you in the next videos.